I couldn't make this up if I tried, but we got a gray fox laying right there at about 180 yards away from us. It's literally bedded less than 20 yards away from this white tail buck. And there happens to be a really decent buck tucked in there behind that tree right there at about 200 yards. So we're going to try and double up. I really want to get the fox. That's going to be our first goal. And then we're going to try and get the buck as a follow-up shot and we're gonna take it as soon as we possibly can all right so here we go smoked him and yeah, that fox didn't even flinch i believe we probably got double lung potentially even a heart shot and the white tail buck i'd say we probably got a single lung all right, well, here's where our white tail ran through. We got some really good blood right there heading that direction, but we'll go over here first and pick up our fox. Oh, apparently we got another fox down there as well. Would you look at that? But here's our fox, and we ended up getting a, yeah, right lung shot. 180 yards, and we just missed the bottom of the heart as it was laying just like that. So you can imagine... He's laying just like this, and you can only see pretty much the side of his vitals. Well, you can't see it, but that's the only thing available to be able to hit is the side of the lungs on the top and bottom and the heart, which is right in the middle. And you can see right there's the heart. It is a very, very small, small target, and we almost had it. And that shot there was a good bit better. Whoa, fox, 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 fox. And that shot went sky high right over the top of him. But to be fair, we really didn't have a whole lot of time to get the shot off before he went behind that hill. So let's go over here and take a look. We should be able to get a follow up on him really quick. All right, we got tracks running right down here to the bottom. I believe it should cross over this river. Or is it going to cut back to the right? Okay, it looks... There it is! It crossed, it crossed! Smoked him. Perfect shot. And the fox is down. Alright, let's grab our fox. Nice running liver intestine shot there. Another bonus. Oh, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes! Right there, right there, right there. He kicked up right in front of us. Got two hits into him. Make that three, four. That should take him down. Man, I love the AR-308. It is awesome. All right, so there we go. First shot, almost got him in the neck, almost dropped him. Then we got intestine on the run and front shoulder. Let him a little bit too much. But you know, honestly, I love this map for hunting whitetail. And the reason is because there's so many spots. You could literally just hunt the river the whole time, or you could just hunt from lake to lake to lake. I'm talking you got lakes in the middle here. You got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lakes just right here in the middle that are phenomenal for whitetail. Then you got four or five down here that are excellent for whitetail as well. This is my favorite spot for whitetail right here as far as lakes. And you also have another good spot for whitetail down here, right over here. This spot here is excellent for whitetail too, as well as this spot here. So, I mean, the point is it's just amazing. And then you have one more spot that's excellent for whitetail and moose way up over here which is by the coos lodge and if that's not enough then you still have all these pumpkin fields you can hunt you got pumpkin fields all over here which are excellent for whitetail in fact this right here is probably my favorite field to hunt for whitetail but then there's also a really good spot down over here this spot here has a lot of cornfields around it and then there's a here's the maze here but this spot is really good for whitetail as well and then you got pumpkin fields over here too so in my opinion, there's just so many ways that you can hunt whitetail here, including hunting from a tree stand. Oh, what do we got crossing in front of us here? Another fox and a big, big whitetail buck. So we should probably go for that buck first. And the fox second rolled him and smoked the buck. Woo! Man, that was awesome. That was awesome. Another good buck. Holy, that was nowhere even near close to hitting that thing. He's out there quite a ways, Granite, but we may get a follow-up shot, potentially. Nah, he is long gone at this point. Wait, 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 wait. 
Uh, yeah, he's gone. Yeah, I think we made the right choice by taking down the buck first and taking the fox on the run after that because otherwise that buck could have easily spooked had we taken a shot at the fox. And, uh, you know, it just worked out good for our swing as well. Got the fox out there at 105 yards and this really nice whitetail buck shouldn't be too far away. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So we actually don't even have a zone here from this buck, which is interesting. Bobcat, it showed that that white tail was drinking and our buck is piled up right there. So where was this buck drinking from? Well, I guess we got it now. <laughs> that is so interesting because we spotted that buck, right? And we only took down a fox and a buck here. So I don't know what to say, unless maybe he was here and we pushed him off his zone and then he came down here after we took a shot at this first fox down over here, potentially. I don't know. And here's our buck. So let's take a look at him. It's going to be at 214 gold. Got a nice right lung shot there, quartering away at 215 yards. Great, great white deal. All right, so there you have it. This zone here is obviously still here. And it's a completely different zone because we have a whole different herd of whitetail bucks over here. Got a, looks to be like a 180 plus whitetail there. Oh, holy, damn, that's a definitely a 180 plus. Right behind that doe. Yeah, that's gonna be one heck of a shot. Well, tell you what, we're gonna bust out the seven millimeter here and we're gonna go for the shot. At about 250 yards, we're gonna try for a neck shot. Well, apparently we dropped a little bit too low and smoked the doe. Got another decent herd of whitetails out here. Nothing super special, but there are in fact a few whitetail that we certainly need to take down. In fact, we have two of them right here at about 260. So we could Texas heart shot that one. All right, so let's see if we can't get this thing right in the back of the neck. And we actually didn't get it in the back of the neck. Ooh, they crossed the river right in front of me and we're almost out of bullets. We did hit one, but I don't think we hit it good enough. Ooh, we just got eyes on a beautiful whitetail down there at about 350. Hopefully he slows up. Okay, he just stopped right there. 350, but he's actually up the hill. So I want to hold a little bit low. Perfect shot. He's down. We got him. Boy, I love the seven millimeter too, especially for shots like that, where you really need to be precise and hit that exact spot. You can always count on the 7mm bolt action rifle. You really can. Oh, that first shot was freaking money. Hey, gobbler, 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 gobbler coming in. Looks like one gobbler and a couple of hens. He's not that big, so we're just going to bust out the AR-308. Another turkey up on the top. And yeah, we'll try for a headshot. Got him. It almost looked like we just missed the head because he kept on walking, but the percentage was dropping and I think maybe he was actually just slowly falling over. So that's basically what we saw is like the nerves kicking in. All right, so we'll check that out in a second, but for now we're gonna go over here and hopefully find our nice white tail buck that we took with the seven millimeter. Yeah, he's piled up right down over here. And actually the white tail that just called down there could be from that separate herd. So we'll want to take it a little bit easier and slowly pick this up. It's going to be a 186, just shy of being a gold. It's a great looking buck, but a perfect double lung shot. So it actually is a good thing. We held a little bit low there and made a beautiful shot on that buck. Oh, moose, 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 moose. Oh, that is not going to bring him down. May have gotten intestine if we're lucky, but I highly doubt that even happened. Probably got him in the back hind quarter. Good thing is, I don't think that moose is going to go down because I don't believe we did, in fact, get a non-vital hit. So it should just be a flesh wound. 
But we're definitely going to take down this buck. Guarantee we shot it right in the spine. Got him good that time, though. I'll tell you that. All right, here's our gobbler. And we actually did, in fact, miss the neck. Just barely. I mean, it still nicked it. 228 yards. And if you nick a turkey's neck with the AR-308, it is not going to go anywhere. Oh, look at that. Where did he come from? That's the same herd of whitetail that we just took that one down. Um, we took a vertebrae shot first, and the follow-up shot connected pretty well. But they just appeared back right there. All right, so let's actually go for a shot with the AR-308 this time, because... I want to see if we actually do, in fact, get any drop to this shot. Well, we dropped something. <laughs> but it definitely wasn't the shot, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I don't really know if we hit the spine or what, because we definitely should add some drop. That shot there was over 300 yards, and we held for 160 right on the spine, so if anything, it should have dropped a little bit, but... How could we have dropped that buck if we didn't hit, like, spine? I don't think double lung with the AR-308 at 300 yards would drop it. That's the thing. I don't even know if we could get double lung. Although they did make it a little bit stronger recently. So I guess that could be a thing. But we'll have to go find out. All right, so here's this buck. Let's see. Did we get any drop? It appears to be a vital hit. But then, how would it have dropped? Well, that's how it would have dropped. We got a heart shot. Wow. Now that's a ton of drop. 160 yards, and that was a 340 yard shot. We were holding for the spine, so it dropped a good 14 inches. But absolutely beautiful shot placement there. Lung and heart shot, right through the shoulder. Um, we'll try and get two of these twos down here, if at all possible. Second one is down, and the first one is going down as well, right there. And there's also a quail right there. We'll take him for a bonus too. We can take down three animals here without losing our zone. So that's why we took a shot at that quail. Otherwise, yeah, it would have been gone. All right. We got two more down here. That uh, shot was a little bit high. Lung and liver there. A little bit higher than what I would like. And that shot there was a good bit better. I thought we'd check one last spot here quick before we end this hunt, and we just spotted a really nice whitetail, a super wide, what should be a 200 plus whitetail buck right there. So we're going to see if we can't get a nice shot on him once he turns. Just like that. Smoked him. All right, here he lays. He should break 200 plus. He's going to be a 187, just shy of 190, but... Still going to be a great looking buck. 202 yards out and a nice double lung shot to finish off the hunt on that buck. But well, that'll be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend and we'll see you next time.